India recently conducted an anti-satellite weapons test, a test where India blew up its old satellite using a missile. I have with me Jean-Yves Legal, who is the head of the French space agency, Kenes. Uh, Dr. Legal, what was your first reaction when you heard that India had done an anti-satellite kinetic test? Uh, I would say that uh, I had a mixed reaction because on one side uh, it's uh, very impressive from a technological point of view. Uh, on the other side, uh, we must absolutely avoid to create a space debris, in particular in low Earth orbit. But uh, from uh, the information that I got, I understand that this test has been performed at uh, quite low altitude. And so I think that uh, it will minimize the number of debris. Uh, the NASA chief reacted calling it a terrible, terrible test. Uh, w what is your reaction? Uh, did India take the right step? I don't want uh, to comment uh, what uh, said my uh, colleagues. It is clear that uh, the question of debris is crucial, in particular uh, when uh, you think about uh, the exploitation of the International Space Station. And uh, I think that uh, it is why uh, international cooperation is uh, so important for me, because it uh, will uh, allow dialogue and uh, perhaps to avoid some uh, misunderstanding. So this particular test, it generated, I believe, 300 pieces of debris. There are over 10 million pieces of debris in, in, in space. Why should the world be so worried about these small pieces of debris? Because debris are uh, very uh, dangerous. Now, I don't know exactly the figures, but uh, it has been done. Uh, okay, so let us uh, look at the future. And in, that India did it in a low Earth orbit of about 280 kilometers, does that, does that in any way help? The lower you are, the better it is to avoid the creation of debris. Uh, it's obvious. So that was Dr. Jeev Devgal telling us that India's ASAT test done at 280 or 300 kilometers reduces the risk of debris, but the risk of debris still remains high. In New Delhi, Palav Bagla.